hello everyone welcome in cool it help so guys this is the second tutorial on the splash screen so in this tutorial we're going to integrate this splash image with this splash screen project right now you can see here in the netbeans id we have two projects ready and both are working so let me show you what we are going to do so i will run this first project okay what we have here So here in the first project we have this splash image okay guys with the progress bar now i will integrate the same splash image here in the second project okay let me close this and come here in the second project so this was the first splash screen we have created in the first tutorial okay So guys don't worry about that if you have not seen the video on the splash screen project so you have to follow the link given in the description and just watch the video first and uh, you can come here and continue with this video and for easiness I am giving the link of both projects so you can directly download from that link and import in your NetBeans ID and you can continue here okay guys let me close this stage okay so we have seen the first splash image here in this project in the first project and I will integrate the same splash image here in this second project okay uh, the scene behind I have written all the code here in this project but I commented out that code I will tell you step by step and I will uncomment that code and finally we will take a build and we will run the project okay guys so watch carefully so in this splash screen project we have all these files so in the first step what we need we need one fxml file and one png file okay I am talking about this fxml file and this png file okay because we are going to use this png okay from the first project and one of the fxml from this project okay so I have already copied the same two things here so finally I renamed it splash screen underscore one dot fxml and this png is placed here okay now in this second step what we have done we have just done a small change here inside this fxml because now this is belong to this package splash screen project okay to this package okay and the controller for this fxml file is now fxml document controller dot java this is the controller this is our fxml file and this is the controller for this fxml so any action we want to display uh, doing by this fxml that will be handled by this controller.java file okay guys and in this project we have one main stage okay so the controller and fxml file is placed here so this is the main stage fxml and the relevant controller is main controller.java okay also we have two more files my preloader.java I have already described about this my preloader.java okay so for uh, complete understanding you have to f watch my previous video on the splash screen project okay so we have done these two things now we have to done some changes in the controller files okay now first we are going inside the controller of our splash screen okay this is our new splash screen fxml and we have the controller okay now go inside this fxml document controller you can see I have commented this because we are using the image view on this fxml okay so we need annotation at the rate fxml image view to bring the reference object here of image view because 
at the time of initialization we will set the image on image view okay so we are setting the image programmatically here okay just come down and you will see inside the initialize method what we have done let me uncomment this code first okay this is the simple code we are loading the image from the file input stream and this is the image sample.png this one is the image okay guys so the same image i have used in the first project this is the splash screen splash image project okay now go back to the controller okay after that we what we are doing we are setting the image view dot set image and we passing this image object here okay it's simple now the fxml have the image on it okay and the stage will display it that's all so the controller part is done okay now go inside this my preloader dot java file so guys my preloader dot java is loading this splash screen programmatically okay so right now we have the previous fxml okay so we have to do small change here like we have to do this underscore one we have to give the name of the fxml that we want to load okay so this fxml has the image view and we placing the image on this image view so I am going to load this fxml here and the more thing we have to do we have to make the stage transparent that's why we have to add the same code here as well that we have added at this place okay guys this one root style and init style now come back to the myproloader.java you can see right now this scene object is simply created but we will not use this constructor we have to use this constructor now like this and we have to set the root style transparent okay now come in the start method where we have getting the stage object so we have to set the stage style transparent for that purpose we have to comment out this line and we will uncomment this line and just save it so now when we are going to load this fxml we will load this fxml on a stage and the stage will be displayed but now we applied some style so the stage will be transparent for now and our splash image will appear properly with no background and it will have a transparent background okay guys we have done this this was all set up okay now we have to take a build of this project before running so I'm going to take a clean build of this project and we will check the output by running this program okay okay this build is successful now come here uh, this is the main this is the main class we have the main method inside so we will do a right click here and we'll run this file okay guys you can see here the splash image appeared but still we have some problem I think we left something so we have to fix it first then we will run it again okay let's check what happened here so something went wrong I think at line number 64 because this fxml document controller doesn't have the label let me show you because it was used in the previous project but in the in this project we are not using the label 
so go to here this is the yeah this is the progress level that we are using previously but in this splash image we don't have the label but we can add the label so let me show you how you can add the label so we have to do a small change in the fx email let me open this in the scene builder like this okay guys and just open the scene builder here okay this is our XM fxml and we will add one label here to fix that error so go to the library and do a search for the label and uh, just copy this from here or you can place uh, anywhere I think uh, this is the best place for displaying the progress okay or uh, you can place it uh, just here okay now this is the label but we will not going to set any text here we will clean this text and we have to assign one fx id to this label so this will be progress okay guys let's copy this in control s and just save this fxml okay guys fxml is saved now we will check it here in the net beans so we got this label this is the fx id we have label and this is our fxml and the controller is here so now it is connected okay and we are setting the progress here on the label let me show you where is the label this is the label okay and this label is setting by this progress yeah at the time of initialize okay so i think this is fixed and i will take a clean build again of this project and we will run it again okay guys build is successful now we will run this okay guys it's done you can see you can see here this progress bar is filling the progress also we are getting this text of the completion percentage we are showing the percentage of completion of task now see after finishing the 100% it will launch the main stage so guys that's awesome so I hope you guys have clear understanding now on this concept but still have any doubts so guys don't worry about that you can just uh, watch this video again and after that you are facing any issues just mention in the comment I will try to reply as soon as possible and please don't forget to share and subscribe and like okay and keep watching cool it help i will bring more cool videos on javafx for you till then bye bye